Welcome to more Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts! Today, we're finally going to go and do Nutty Acres Act 5. We unlocked this one at like 31 jiggies. We've got 95 right now, and in fact, we've actually got 108. I just have to go bank the rest of those. So before we go inside, let's go and actually do that. Let's go bank all of our jiggies. We've got five over at Jigaseum. And then we've got five at Terrarium of Terror and three at Trophy Thomas. There's the five from Gigaseum, and that's gonna bring us up to 100 in total. Oh my gosh, the cop sounds are ridiculous right now. But we get a freebie right here, we get two more super ammos. Let me go get the five from Gigaseum, and you know what? These guys are not attacking me anymore, but just because they were so annoying, they're all gonna die. Let's turn these ones in and see what we get as a freebie for 105 as well. And for this one, we'll get two more super fuels. So now we've got four super fuels and four super ammos. It's quite a bit. And here are the last three. No freebies for this one. Oh, well, let's try actually turn them in here. No freebies quite yet. There's only one more freebie in the game, and that is at uh, 110. So we gotta get two more. But let's go inside Nutty Acres Act 5. We've got six Jiggies and three Jinjos to do for this one. Now, there's quite a few missions we can choose from here, but I'm gonna do two very particular ones first. And the reason for that is... Actually, we could do three of them, but uh, I really want to go and get the freebie super engine before we do a couple of the missions here. So let's go and do this one over here. This one is very easy, and there's actually a bit of a trick to it as well. So let's go ahead and choose a vehicle. I guess we could choose our trolley Mark Zuckerberg once again. And for this one, what we have to do is we have to fly around and plug up these different holes. Now, the way you're meant to do this is... Well, I'll, I'll show you guys once we get over there. So you've got these little bubbles, and inside is the plug that we're supposed to use. However, there's a bit of a trick to it. We can actually plug up the hole just using the enemies, so we don't have to actually take the time to break open those things to smack the enemies, put them in the hole like that, and there you go, one out of three already done. So now I'll move on to the second one right over here. We'll get that, and then we just got the last one, and we're already done without having to break any of those bubbles. Let's hop out, get one of these guys, and stick them in the hole. There we go, one to go, and we're done here already. Now this last one is a little more tricky because these enemies down here are the suck and blow types. So I'm gonna try to bump into them. There we go. I didn't mean to bump him that far, gosh dang it, dude. Well, we'll have to wait for him to stop blowing me. And there we go. Okay, so now we can get close and we can grab him, stick him in the hole once again, and see if this actually works. And it's not quite. If it doesn't actually work, just jump and hit it. And usually that'll work. Oh, didn't this time, though. We'll just jump and smack it. Okay, that's not working this time. Normally that works, but oh well. I think we might have to break the plug open for this one, because I don't know where that other enemy went. It's not really a big deal to break this. We'll just hit it a few times. And there we go. And let's see if we can get this working. And we got it! All right. But as you saw, a very easy trophy. Even if you don't use the trick, it's still pretty easy there. We've also got a Jinjo. Let me see if I actually want to do this one right now, because there's one Jinjo I want to wait to do. Let's see, this one is... Oh, if I, got, if I can actually talk to him. Got it out of here, plant! Okay, this one's just Jinjo combat. I am definitely down to do this one. We're just gonna use the Nicholas Cage like we've used so many times before. The odd thing about this one, though, is he's actually behind us. I don't know why, but we'll just have to uh, back up a little bit. There you go. And you can see he's actually not a particularly big one either, because you gotta keep in mind, even though we're doing this at the end of the game, this is still a mission that unlocked, or a uh, stage that unlocked at 31 jiggies, so it's actually supposed to be kind of like in the middle of the game, or even near the earlier portion. If I could actually get him over that lump, that'd be great, but it's not really working out too well. Come on, get out there! This would be a lot easier if I actually upgraded my Nicolas Cage, but I'm so lazy. Let me just drive him right out the front gate, or my balls will get stuck to a rock, and I'll have no chance of doing that, Crud. Get out there, come on, we only got three seconds left, Banjo. Well, okay, I'm gonna have to start over. Okay, this time I'm just gonna drive him right out the front gate because apparently that's what we have to do here. Oh, if I could actually steer properly. Oh, come on, get out there, you crud. There we go. Really, all I need to do is put on some more engines and that would have been a lot easier, but it works regardless. Now, this mission's a little bit weird. We have Klungo right here and he basically wants us to cook him breakfast. So we've got the egg right here and what you're meant to do is take it all the way over to the volcano on the other side of the world, drop it in the lava that will cook it, and then you bring it back to Klungo. However, if we use our Weldar's Breath, our flamethrower weapon, we can cook it on the spot. So let me make a vehicle with one of those attached to it, 
and we'll go ahead and wreck this one. Now, the vehicle that we're going to design, we've already got something that works pretty well as a base, as you can see right here that we've made before. So rather than make this hard on ourselves, we're just gonna go ahead and use this to start. Although I've made it quite a bit shorter than it was before. Uh, I stuck some ammo in the backside, and I'm also gonna stick the flamethrower up front. So the Weldar's Breath will go right there. But there's one more thing I want to change. Let's go ahead and go back to body. And I guess we can use super blocks, doesn't really matter here. I'm gonna grab some poles, and we're gonna stick them on the bottom here. And I want this to go down, I think like four blocks would be pretty good here. And on the bottom of that, I'm gonna make a giant stand for this thing. All right, something like this should work pretty well. And now all I'm going to do is go down to gadgets. We're gonna grab a spring, and we're gonna stick it on the front here. And you'll see why we're doing this in a minute. So let's just go ahead and stick that guy right there. Actually, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna move this back one block, and we'll stick the spring on just like that that. Because we're gonna roast some eggs, we're gonna call this one the Egg Destroyer. Let's see if I spaced everything out properly. If we did, it should work. So let's go ahead and take a look right here. So we should be pointing directly at the egg. Oh, I'm a little bit above it, but I think it'll still reach. So we just use our flamethrower just like this, and what that will do is cook it. Once it's done cooking, we just use our spring to kick it like that, and that'll drop it into place, and... Oh, I think it's still in there. There you go, we're all done! If you don't have the spring to kick it out like that, it won't drop down low enough, and it won't actually trigger the, uh, the mission completion. But there's one trick I want to show you guys to try to make this one go a little bit faster, uh, to... If you want, if you want to get a leaderboard time or something like that, there's a little trick you can do not only on this mission, but really any mission. So what we're going to do is do the same thing, but... As soon as we kick the thing out with our spring, we're gonna jump out and push B on our vehicle, and that'll do a trick for us here. Just like that. Oh, why can't I press B? Oh, it's because I was standing on top of it. Let's try again. So cook it up, give it a kick, jump out, and press B like that. And as you can see at the top, our timer's not going to keep going, but that little delay that we had to wait for will keep going. So we finish it in seven seconds instead. I finished it in six seconds before. I think it might cook slightly faster if we have the flamethrower a little bit lower. But there you go, all done. And now with that, we've got two missions complete. So I'm gonna go back to Showdown Town, turn in those last two Jiggies, or the first two Jiggies, I guess we earned, and we'll get our, our last freebie. And this here, probably the best freebie in the game, is another super engine. So now we've got two of these guys. All right, let's go back inside and do some more Jiggy missions. And some Jinjos as well, I guess. But you know what? Since we finally got all of the super engines, let's go and make the Credmobile version 5. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is all we need. We don't need jets anymore because we've got two super engines. So we've got some propellers, some super engines, some fuel. This is all we really need, guys. Although, by popular demand, we will be sticking a disco uh, disco ball on the Crudmobile, finally. Let's go paint this guy brown and call it our version 5. Oh wait, I do want some springs on the bottom though. I think just two is fine for this little dude. Alrighty, so let's go get to the rest of Nutty Acres Act 5. First up, there is another Jinjo mission up here, so let's go do that one. This one is Jinjo Speed. We already know how to deal with these. You know what? Actually, let's see if our new Crudmobile can do this, because we do only have just the two engines. So let's see if Crudmobile version 5 can do a Jinjo speed. Of course, this is not going to be a particularly fast requirement, considering it's just Nutty Acres 5, but still, let's go check it out. Oh yeah, we'll get that speed, no problem. Now, over here is probably my least favorite mission in the game. This one is not that hard, but it's really gosh dang annoying. So, well, let's go ahead and do it. Enough putting this one off. All right. I don't know why I said off so oddly, but... Well, this one, we're gonna have to deal with an old friend, or an old nemesis, once again. Yes, it's the Return of Patches, and this one is not as easy as it is to do in as it was in uh, Banjo Land 6 when we had to fight Patches there. This time, he's got the Patches all over his body, and we have to shoot them. The problem is that he's gonna be moving a lot, and, well, aiming is just not that easy, so I'll do my best. It's probably going to be slow. It might take me a couple of tries, but we'll do it. The only thing I'm going to do first is actually make a better vehicle for this one, but, yeah, well, it shouldn't be too big of a problem, hopefully. So here is the base of our vehicle. We've got a bunch of small am or super ammos, the two super engines, and the two super fuels kind of surrounding my super seat in the middle. On the front, we've got the five egg guns that we have all lined up in a cross pattern. And on top, we've got six small propellers. Now all I'm going to do is basically surround this in a bunch of body parts, because there's going to be stuff trying to attack us as we go. And if they start knocking off our propellers, that's going to be a problem. So let me surround this with some super body parts here. Well, let's go ahead and see how many tries this is going to take me right here. I do have some propellers inside like I showed off, so this will still fly, even though the propellers are kind of sealed off here. 
So let's just go get over to the guy. I'm not going to shoot from too far away because as we shoot him, it's going to make him start rotating. So I want to try to get a little bit closer, make sure I'm actually hitting these patches here. Now, the trick to getting this one done fast is really just memorizing where all of the patches are and keeping track of which patches you've actually hit. Because once we get down to just a few patches remaining, it starts to get tricky to actually keep track of everything. And that's really the tough part. I know there's some patches on his belly, so let's go see if we can get those. Assuming I haven't got them all already, which it looks like we haven't. Good, there's actually a couple we still have to get here. There's one, and you can see the stuff's already trying to kill me here. There's one right there. We're still missing three more. Now, I know there's one on his head, and there's one on his nose as well. Looks like we still need that one on his nose. So there is that one. Got two more. Uh, do we have the one on his head? Let's see here. It looks like we do, so they should be on his left side. There's one right there, and there's one more to go. But where exactly is it? This is where it gets complicated, where it's like, I don't know which one I haven't gotten already. Let's see. Maybe it's on his bottom somewhere. Uh, looks like I got everything down here. I don't know which one I'm missing. This is where things get complicated, guys. Maybe up top. Maybe it's on his uh, right side up top. I don't know where else to look. Nope, those are all popped as well. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's one more on his face. I forgot about that one. Let's see if I can turn around here. And there you go. Kind of sloppy, but we still got it. I've done that one in like 40 seconds before. That's pretty much the best I've done. I am just glad that one is over. We got the trophy on our first try, even if it wasn't particularly fast. It still worked. The trick to that one really, like I said, memorize where the patches are, try to keep track of which patches you've got, and also, well, have a vehicle that's not going to get destroyed as soon as those enemies start running into you like that. Alright, so that one's done. Let's go down here to Mumbo, and we're going to build another vehicle for this one. For this one, we're going to have to destroy a lot of enemies and destroy them in the water. So I'm going to load up the Blue Falcon, and we're going to make some edits here. So the first thing I did was I destroyed or deleted all of the jets, and I put every single bit of ammo that I've got as well as the uh, two super engines up here and some propellers on the back. Now I'm just going to put on a bunch of weapons. Alrighty, that should do, and I'm also going to put on some wheels, because there's going to be a very brief portion on land, so I'm just going to put some wheels so we can actually drive off of that easy. Cool, let's go get to it. I'm going to keep it the Blue Falcon, but I'll just put some question marks on there. Let's hit start game and see how this one goes. It's a pretty short mission. Oh, I don't actually want all these the floater equipped right now, so let me swap to the uh, grenade gun. There we go. And now we're just going to go down, start shooting everything, and kind of drive around the circle right here and hope we kill a bunch of stuff along the way. There we go. And there we go. I'm just going to drive through there, and now we're going to go over to this side and go destroy these guys as well. And once we get up to 16, the mission's over, so let's just see if we can get them super quick. There's 13 so far. There's only three more right here. Not doing the best job, but... We're almost done. There we go. Okay, so not the fastest completion time, but it still works. And even though it's a lot of parts, it's still a pretty easy vehicle to make there. Let's go ahead and do this mission right here in the center. For this one, I am going to use the ball sticker because we've got another mission just like we had during Nutty Acres Act 4, where we have to carry a bunch of nuts into a vacuum. But we can just take the vacuum to the nuts, however it's in the air. I'm going to go ahead and use the ball sticker like I said, but I am going to add the super engine so we can go a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and start game. This one is very easy as well as long as you do this trick. Why is my vehicle like weighted to one side? Uh, that looked a little bit weird, but it looks like we're fine right here. So let's just fly up. We have to stick this guy right here, so let's take a second to line up. There we go. We got it, and now we'll take it over to this side. Now, you've got a couple of options. You could just try to fly over top and suck them up as you go. The other option is you could just try to land and then pick it up manually. So that's what I'm going to do. I find it a little bit easier. So we'll just see if we can land. I just picked up the entire bridge. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to fly right here. So let's just uh, see if we can make this work with the giant bridge up top. You know what? We're going to do some kind of tactical maneuvers. What I'm going to do is try to drop this thing and try to catch it midair. I don't know if this is going to work at all, but flying with this bridge in my on my sticky ball is not really working out right here. So, oh my gosh, that did not work out at all. Well, there's one thing I want to show you. Um, I'm going to have to restart, of course, but there is a secret vehicle right here. So if you go to the back, you can actually find this little guy, and he's got some springs on him. So that'll let you spring back to the top. The problem is my sucker's already fallen off as well, so I can't spring back up with that. So let me try this one again. I guess I'm going to try the flyby tactics instead of the walking tactics because I don't want to stick the entire bridge again. That was kind of a problem. So we're just going to very slowly fly by. Hopefully this will suck most of them up. Just like that. Very nice. 
Now, we probably already have enough for a trophy, but if you get not quite all of the nuts, but just about all of them, you will finish the mission early, so it saves a lot of time as well. So there's that. We have to get up to like 4,700 points, so we're almost done. I think, there we go, okay, very nice. We've done most of the stuff there is to do here. We just got one more mission over here with bottles and then one Jiggy mission and we're done. So for this one, what we're going to do is there's that statue of a golden egg in the middle right there. There's gonna be a bunch of enemies trying to destroy it and we have to protect it. There's a couple ways you could do this. You can just pick it up and move it. I'm gonna create a vehicle that will work as a shell and just kind of land it on top of it and that'll protect it. There we go. So right here we do have a little shell. It's actually five blocks wide by five blocks long, I guess. And then it's seven blocks high. Although I ran out of super blocks so the bottom two layers are uh, light blocks, but that's okay. And now because it's gonna be so heavy, we have to actually transport this thing. I need to make a pretty powerful engine to carry this thing. There we go. I've got a bunch of engines on top and I'm gonna make it into a helicopter. So I'm gonna basically just put down a lot of propellers here. There we go. Something like that should work. Okay, let's go get to it. So what we're going to do is take this vehicle over and just drop it on top of the thing. Now, you do got to be careful because bumping into it will damage it as well, but only a little bit. And it has to take a pretty good chunk of damage before you won't en uh, any longer get the trophy. So let's just try to get right up on top of it. Just drop right down on it. Oop. Well, there we go. I went and damaged it a little bit. Let's see if we can do a little bit better than that, Banjo. Can I actually get this lined up properly? That'd be fantastic. I'm like slightly too far forward. Come on, dude. Oh, come on. Line it up, dude. Oh, boy. And there we go. We've got it covered. Now I just got to see if I can get all the way down there. And that should work. Now, I know that's not all the way down to the bottom, but it really doesn't need to be. Although there's one thing I should point out. There is another vehicle back here, which has an egg turret on it. So you could hop inside this and you could just shoot the guys out of the air before they destroy the trophy. Now, I've actually done this before. You don't have to protect this thing at all. You could just sit here and do this to save it. Now, it looks like it took a little bit of damage even though I'm shielding it. That's okay though. It shouldn't take all the damage it has to take to uh, actually not count here. Wow, maybe it will. Holy crud, that did a lot of damage. So we might actually still have to shoot these guys out of the air. Let's see if we can recover this one. No, no, no. Okay. Well, my shielding tactic, that normally works for me, but I guess they're, maybe it's because I have the light blocks down below. Yeah, see, up top it protects it pretty well. Oh no, it's gonna tip over! That actually might be okay. I'm just gonna do my best to shoot all these guys out of the air, and hopefully this will work out. But back in the day, when I first played this game, this is how I did it. I just put a shield over it, and it works out pretty well. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked this time for me, so... I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, the super blocks on the bottom and put the light blocks that I have to have up top, I think. You know what, I'll just go back to my original design. I tried to do something different so I could have it all be blocks, but what I actually did before was I used some panels. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, here's the original design. Everything in green is stuff I just changed. So I just changed the uh, bottom blocks to super blocks and I changed the middle pieces to panels instead of blocks. This should work now. Okay, well, we'll see if this one works a little bit better. I'm just gonna chill here. And there we go, we got the trophy. Now, when they attacked from low angles, it actually did still damage the trophy. So, you, or the statue, not the trophy. I, I know I've been calling it the trophy this whole time, but it is a statue. But, well, I would probably edit that vehicle if I were to do this again. Doing it with that vehicle is a little bit luck-based because it depends on if they attack from a low angle or not. It totally protects it from above, but if they come at a low angle, it will damage it. Uh, what I would do instead is make it 7x7 seven seven wide instead of 5x5 five five and make it a little bit taller. And that'll make it so when they crash into you, they don't quite reach all the way to the, uh, to the statue there. Alright, let's go do the final Jinjo mission right over here. This one is going to be a water race, and... Well, there's going to be a lot of very tight turns, so I am going to be editing the boat a little bit here. And he's not on the island. He's actually over on the dock right here. So you know this crud right here we just made? I'm going to turn this into a boat. I'm just going to delete all these engines and all these connecting pieces like that, leave all the propeller stuff intact, and then we're going to grab this stuff down here. There we go. We'll go ahead and delete all of that. Then we'll select all of this, and then we'll flip it up just like that. And now it's forming the base of a boat. And what we'll do is all of these little connecting pieces, I'm just going to replace those with floaters, and we should be good. Gosh dang it, easy update. I don't care, dude. There we go, we've got that. Now I'm just going to find a place to attach a seat, a couple of uh, fuels, and some the two uh, super engines. I don't know why I'm getting so brain farted today, but oh well. Now what's really cool about this boat design is because pretty much all of the speed is based on the propellers, and we have six of our propellers are folding propellers, 
we can basically change our speed, which makes it so if we have to go through some tight turns, we can lower our speed, and then if we need to go fast, we can whip out more propellers and just go super fast. So it's a really cool design here. All right, here we go. Like I said, this is a pretty tough track. We're going to have a lot of tight turns, and it's not super short either. Now, for the start here, I am going to start off with the all the propellers out, but there might be some portions where I'm going to want that sharper turning with lower speed. Now, we do have pretty good turning regardless. This is not a hyper-fast vehicle with all those jets and everything like that. It is still quite speedy, but it's not, like, ridiculous or anything. And that's honestly preferable for this stage. I'm going to go ahead and put the propellers away here, because we've got to make it around that turn there, and whip them right back out. But, yeah, I tried this with just the regular old Blue Falcon. Having all those jets made it pretty hard to control here, so I would recommend, even if you don't go for an elaborate design like I have here, Try making something with just two super jets, or two super engines, and a bunch of propellers and see if it works out for you. But alright, that's it for that Jinjo mission, and that is going to be it for Nutty Acres Act 5 and all of Nutty Acres. You know what? I normally wait until the next episode to do this, but let's go ahead and turn in all of these jiggies we just got. Of course, we've already turned two of the six in, so we've got four more right here. So we'll go grab those guys, go turn those in. And you know what? Let's go check out the trophies as well. I just want to show you guys that there there is no freebie at 115 here. And after we turn these in, you'll see we get up to 115, or 116 actually, and there's no freebies to be seen. I want to go see, can we finish off anything more at the bingo board as well? Because we've got just a couple more Jinjos in the entire game, which are going to be in Triumph of Terror Act 3. So let's go check this out. We're currently at 69 Jinjo missions completed. Let's go see what else we can finish here. Oh, we got the last blue one, so that'll finish off... Well, nothing in particular. Oh, we got all the yellows as well, and all the purples. We're actually only missing three more gingers in the entire game, and it looks like they're gonna be two oranges and a red. So we will finish off this row, which will give us some more notes right there, and we'll finish off the purple ones here. There's the green. We can go ahead and put this red in and get that one completed. Kaboom, we get a citrus slick, very nice. And I think that also gave us some notes. And I guess we'll finish off, gosh, I could choose between either of these. We can get more foldy wings or we can get a rust bin. I guess we'll get more foldy wings. Well, there it is. Three more Jinjo missions in the entire game. And we'll be doing them next time. Because we're going to go to Terrarium of Terror, Act 3. Finish off the remaining Jiggy missions. The last three Jinjo missions. After that, all that is left is the few kind of special episodes and Spiral Mountain. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.